Hey guys, today we are going to talk about a card and this card is very unique because it is the first card that really spiked from a Planeswalker deck. Now, the Planeswalker decks are the introduction decks that you would buy uh, at pre-release and they are meant for beginner players but they do have some cards that are exclusive. Now, the power level just from the Planeswalkers is very low. The deck, the cards in the deck power level is very low. If you played it at FNM, you probably would not win a single match. That being said, it is intriguing to see a card spike from a Planeswalker deck, uh, mainly because that's the only place you can get it. That being said, you get the cards. You get the. It's not a random assortment of cards. You know exactly what you're getting. However, the Planeswalker deck. Largely, you're not going to buy the entire Planeswalker deck to get a $2 card. So this card is incredibly interesting from a finance perspective because it is the first card I can remember from a Planeswalker deck that has gone up pretty much 10x in price. So it is Tezzeret. So free artifact creature golem, target opponent loses one life. If you control a Tezzeret Planeswalker, that player loses free life instead. You might ask, why is this better than a creature that can attack for free damage? Why is it better uh, than a something that can deal more damage for that amount of mana? It's because you don't need to worry about, about blockers. And most importantly, if you do have the Tezzeret Planeswalker in field, you can untap it. You can untap Lightning Bolt to the face, untap Lightning Bolt to the face, untap Lightning Bolt to the face. So overall, a incredibly strong card and one that most EDH players or combo deck players will want in their decks, especially if they're playing Tedret, just given the large amount of damage it can do. Overall, a interesting financing because this card was 38 cents until recently. Actually, it was dropping in price. If you expanded this graph, you would see it going down in price. And it is the, from a Planeswalker deck exclusive, something that we don't see having much MTG finance impact at all because the cards are very watered down. The question has always been, what if there is a very good card in a Planeswalker deck? Will the Planeswalker deck sell out? Will that card spike up in price? The answer is yes. Yes, it will. Uh, we have yet to see something like that at the Mythic if they push the power level, the whole point of these Planeswalker decks are they are watered down, they are incredibly weak, and they're for beginning players. It's not the type of deck you would buy and then go to FNM and do well with. It's a type of deck that no, you have not played Magic in a while, you have a buddy who hasn't played Magic in a while, you grab this deck, somebody grabs the Chandra deck, someone grabs the Nissa deck, and then you play against each other, and it's kind of fun, very casual. I mean, out of all the cards that spiked this weekend, this one is by far the most interesting. Anyway, bye guys.